which condition are required to complete an accurate leak of test and we have to select one answer so the basic question is what are the main requirements of lot so as we know that there are basic requirements that we have to follow before conducting an lot test the very first requirement that i should know how much is the pressure at shoe so i should know how much is the hydrostatic because in static condition before we go in for an lot test there is some pressure at shoe in static condition and that uh, pressure is nothing but the hydrostatic pressure of mud so in order to calculate hydrostatic pressure of mud first thing that i should know is exact mud density so first thing i should know is mud density second in order to calculate hydrostatic pressure at shoe i should know the true vertical depth of shoe so my second requirement is shoe tvd third requirement the gauge which i'm going to use to record pressure should be a calibrated gauge calibrated gauge okay now when we conduct lot we record pressure we plot a graph against volume pumped against increase in surface pressure surface pressure so these are the uh, five requirements uh, that i should know before conducting an lot and the very first requirement that uh, i should know is mud density exact mud density in the well bore second exact shoe tvd third the gauge which i'm going to use should be a calibrated gauge and the uh, when i conduct lot then i have to plot a graph against volume pumped uh, during leak off and increase in surface pressure so let us select the right answer so in this case first question first option is fluid density sample so very first sentence is, is wrong i don't need a sample i need mud density exact mud density and then further if you go in this option fully rated gauge what do you mean by fully rated gauge so this option is wrong second an accurate hole capacity now we already know that uh, the relationship between volume and hydrostatic pressure there is no relationship between volume and hydrostatic pressure because uh, even with small volumes the pressure exerted many times is more so there is no relation between volume and hydrostatic pressure so this option is also wrong c exact mud density okay an accurate stoke counter why you need an accurate stoke counter suppose if you want to calculate uh, pump volume pumped according to the stoke counter then we know that uh, no machine is 100% efficiency having an 100% efficiency so efficiency factor is something that uh, should be considered in this case so stoke counter will not give you the exact volume that you pumped so there is a dilemma that the, this option might not be right so leave it like this let us check the option d exact fluid density this is right appropriate gauge uh, appropriate gauge means suppose uh, if i wish or i anticipate that my maximum surface pressure going to be uh, between 1000 to 2000 so i should take 5000 gauge if it is uh, less than 500 then i should go for 1000 gauge so appropriate gauge has to be selected because if the pressure increase in pressure is not big or maybe uh, 100 200 or uh, it may be 500 700 and if i take 10000 psi gauge then i might i might not see the numbers properly so in that case appropriate gauge is required then ac accurate measurement of volume pumped yes uh, you have to check your pits to accurately pumped volume so as in c accurate stoke counter will not give you the accurate volume so c is wrong 
then the last point is exact depth of shoe exact vertical depth of shoe so all the points are right so d is my right answer exact fluid density appropriate pressure gauge accurate measurement of mud pumped and exact vertical depth of casing